Hello everyone and welcome to another important lecture. Okay, in this lecture we are going to study about the life cycle of viruses, right? So there are seven stages here. There are seven stages which a virus passes and that's the seven stages which will complete its life cycle. So the first stage is attachment. Okay, let us say this is a virus, right? And this is traveling somewhere in uh, environment and uh, it somehow comes into contact with its target and its target can again be that host which it, which it want to attach okay so here you can see this uh, drumsticks type of receptor which it have and it, it is complementary to the receptors on the host cell okay so this works like how antigen and antibodies attach to each other right so there is a complementation which leads to attachment of virus to host okay and then it adheres to cell surface okay now after this adhesion comes the second stage which is entry now after this interaction the virus will get engulfed into the host cell right so this marks the entry of virus into host okay and uh, then comes the stage of uncoating when it enters the host cell it uncoats its outer cell uh, capsid or envelope if it have envelope and capsid these envelope can and capsid help the antibodies to attach to them right like antibodies will come and attack only envelope antibodies will come and attack only the capsid also but this nucleic acid will remain free right and here you can also see eclipse stage this eclipse stage is a stage when you cannot detect these viruses inside the host okay so this uh, virus gets released and after some time if you observe then you will observe that this virus genome or virus nucleic acid which can be dna or rna it gets integrated with the host genome okay so and after this uh, after this integration this host host genome and viral genome will act as one entity and of course due to that every polymerase which are meant to replicate host dna or yeah host dna will also replicate viral genome as well right now after this comes the stage of multiplication as i've said that uh, there will be dna replication okay now dna replication will be happen so more number of dnas will be formed and more number of mrnas will also form and these mRNAs are formed in order to synthesize proteins, which is capsid part of virus. Okay. Now viral integration, right? Now viral integration is a process where you can see as here only DNA will replicate, then capsid will form. And in virus integration, what will happen that the capsid which were formed will integrate with the DNA and will form nucleocapsid. See here, these are all nucleocapsid. Okay. So you can say this is a kind of whole DNA, right? So after this whole DNA is formed, what will virus do? It will, as its number will increase, it will lead to the bursting of the cell, right? And sometime it bursts the cell, which leads to killing, right? It kills the host cell, not host, host cell. Okay. But sometimes it happens that it just exits the uh, host cell. And in that process, like this is the plasma membrane of the host and it will get integrated with the virus itself. And this become envelope of the virus. Okay, now as it integrates with the virus, it goes a little modify under a little modifications, like and in those modification, they will get enveloped and it will help further in its protection, etc. Okay, and then it will affect new host, right? And when it affects the new host, this life cycle is repeat. Okay, and that's how this infect another. Thank you very much and see you soon in next video.